good morning um, this video right here is going to be on how to actually set up your G C Moto uh, Greek Pro um, if you've seen in my last video I showed you how to install it and I showed you the unboxing so uh, if you're watching this video either you couldn't um, set up the Z Moto camera yourself or you're just not really computer savvy um, I actually had a problem where I couldn't set up the actual camera um, it would let me set up to the Wi-Fi but it wouldn't show me any, the camera on the actual app so this video right here is just gonna give you a little bit of insights on how to set it up the correct way and get that camera working right away so before we get started please just note that you will need either a smartphone or you're gonna need a tablet of some sort I'm pretty sure you can use your uh, computer as well but um, to get like notifications and stuff like that you will need a smartphone or tablet I will be using my uh, Apple iPhone to set this camera up so if you don't have an iPhone and you're using Android it's pretty the same stuff you just want to go in and look for the Zmodo app um, and then download that app I already uh, have an existing Zmodo account just because I have a other Zmodo cameras inside the house so I'm just gonna update my uh, Zmodo app at this time but if you're starting off you want to uh, download this app it's pretty quick download if you got pretty fast internet um, so download the app after you download the app you do want to create a username for those who um, don't already have an existing account with Zmodo so get yourself a username uh, set yourself a really hard password where nobody can actually crack your password now we're ready for setup mode um, so the first thing you want to do in the top right corner there's going to be a plus sign at the top right you want to click on that um, that's going to get you started with adding that new uh, doorbell now you want to scroll to the bottom and you're going to click wireless doorbell and smart kit next there right there at the top you're going to click wireless device now we're ready to set up to your Wi-Fi connection um, please note before you buy this camera um, this camera is only supports 2.4 gigahertz there are some um, doorbells that support uh, 5 gigahertz but this camera that I uh, am showing you how to connect only supports 2.4 gigahertz so now it's going to ask you to connect to your Wi-Fi connection you're going to type in your password uh, make sure you got the correct username it takes a couple seconds to uh, get connected so after that this is where it gets a little bit tricky so what it's asking you to do is go into your Wi-Fi settings you're gonna click on ZMD SAP that's the actual uh, device next is gonna ask you to retype in this time you have to actually type in your Wi-Fi username and your Wi-Fi password Remember, this is a 2.4 gigahertz camera, so make sure your connection is 2.4. Now your device is connected to your camera. Next, this is where it gets a little bit more tricky again. It asks you to reconnect back to your existing 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Takes a couple seconds to connect. After it connects, this is the last part of it. You're just going to create a password for your camera because you don't want anybody um, hacking into your camera. So make sure you create a super strong password that no one can guess. Um, now you're all successful. You got yourself a Zmodo Greek doorbell. In these next couple videos, I'm actually just show you guys how to uh, how it works and basically uh, 24 our update on the camera as well uh, one more thing make sure you before you use this camera you update it just because it's coming straight out the box so it's not going to have any other new updates or anything like that and also turn the shine on in your settings so you just go into the edit mode and turn the shine on and you want to turn on your notifications as well on the doorbell so this is the fun part here now uh, we're just going to do a test run on the doorbell to see if the shine is working so as you can see the, the shine actually works the camera itself looks pretty good it actually has the 180 view on the camera far so good um, I'm actually going to show you guys in this next clip this is a 24 hour overview of the camera 
um, from 12 to 12 as you can see in this video the actual view of the, the quality of the camera is pretty good it says 1080p um, it looks 1080p I say maybe a 720 but other than that for the price this camera is really really nice um, again thank you for uh, watching this video if it was really helpful for you guys make sure you please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to my channel I do do more how-to videos um, so don't forget to subscribe thanks for you guys the time